If you want to get render passes in Blender, you need to know three things. First, where can you find them? And that's in the layer properties over here under the Passes tab. And there are a couple of sub-tabs here for the main data, light, and two more that you won't need here. The second thing you need to know is how to preview those passes. And that's from over here while on Viewport Render. You can click this small arrow. Then down here, you will have the same passes, and you can choose any of them to preview the data, if available. It's noisy preview since the denoiser is not running on those passes, but you can see through that mess. Last thing you need to know is how to save those passes. And for that, you need first to pick which ones you need from this list. Then, you have to render the scene to get the data with the image. So I will do a render on 64 samples and with the denoiser off since we enabled its pass. We can now go to the rendering tab from up top, then maybe switch the timeline to a compositing window, hit use nodes to get the render layers where we have all the selected passes available. And we need to start with the denoiser, so shift A, go to filter, and pick the denoiser, then we can plug it with the image and the denoiser data, both normal and albedo, as shown all the way to the composite node. And with a couple of seconds, you will get a noise-free render like this, which we can save normally as any render from the image tab at top. Same thing goes for the mist pass. Plug it and the mist will appear, then save it as usual. With this, make better post process to get the best result in your renders. That's it. Do like and sub if you didn't get bored, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.